you play video games and you have friends, then you've certainly played a fighting game or two. While it's fun playing with them, there are surely some cheap ass, ugly motherfucking, overpowered and annoying characters who made enemies out of your best buds. Every fighting game has them, and they can turn a sport Fuck into a raging hey, lunatic. Sportsmanship. Fuck you. This is Playcast. Here is a list of 10 annoying fighting game characters who made vicious enemies out of your best friends. Meta Knight. Let's start off with an insanely unfair character from Super Smash Bros. If your balls have a set of wings and can whoop your ass, it'll more or less look a lot like Meta Knight. This little fucker is banned in tournaments. He's ridiculously overpowered. You'd want to throw your controller to your opponent's face whenever you lose to this egghead. <laughs> Valgus. In Power Stone, big muscles normally equal slow movement speed, but not Valgus. He can run like a motherfucker, collecting all the Power Stones all for himself. Overpowered and so easy to use, he becomes formidable even in the hands of fucking newbies. A tank and a hard hitter, he's even more annoying when used by a pro. He's so fast, he looks like he's about to shit in his pants. I'm Zangief, I'm bad guy. Zangief. Let's see. He's slow, dumb-witted, and nothing but a lumbering target for projectiles. Yeah, I spin. Yeah, I spin. I spin. He will make you his bitch, though, once he grapples you. The chest hair is enough to make you back off. It's dumb to make this your favorite character, for he is not so easy to pick up and master. He walks like he's stuck in a deep puddle of shit. Well, bring out the gimp. Valdo. One look at Valdo and you know he's a gimp, straight out of Pulp Fiction. I butt fuck this dude. See that? What? He's my gimp. He moves like that worm trying to crawl out of your a hole. Do you suck dicks, sir? No, sir. Bullshit! I bet you could suck a golf ball through a garden hose. He's ugly, and no one wants to cosplay as this shit face. What the fuck? WTF? What the fuck? Potemkin. If Potemkin was in Street Fighter, he'll have a hard time. But putting him in a weapon-based fighting game where all battles are melee? Wow. His reach is enormous, practically making him a long-range hitter. And he hits hard. Really hard. Just a few hard blows and you can kiss your sorry ass goodbye. Can you imagine the size of this guy's shit? Yeah, Me neither. You can. He's fast, he's furious, and his moves are dumb. Listen to this. <laughs> Who the hell thought of that? He sounds like his anus is being tickled with a fork. He's the main hero in the game, but he's nobody's favorite. All because of that stupid sound he makes. It sounds exactly like a turkey's mating call. <laughs> he is so lame that he's fucking annoying. Now whenever you eat a turkey, you'll remember this guy. Eddie Gordo. What do you want? This character turns your friends into annoying fools by making them hold the controller in stupid ways. More annoying is when they beat your ass. And believe me, they will. Your controller ain't safe either. It'll be a mashed potato before the end of your session. Eddie Gordo will make them think they're getting good after each and every match, to the point when they start talking shit at you for losing. Mega Man. This projectile-based hero is one cheap-ass bastard. All you need to do to win is keep firing that stupid arm cannon. And man, can he fire the shit out of it. I'm gonna fire the shit out of you. 
this guy right here is a melee character's worst enemy. He has a lot of gadgets and weapons, but only uses a few of them at a time. What a fucking moron. And he's cheap, did I mention that? Michael Jackson. You can win, the title's mine. Now here's one popular character in a fighting game only a few people know exists. The King of Pop. He's bad, and the worst part is, he knows it. See? He's also one unfair bastard. His rumble meter fills up so quickly and can end matches pretty quickly, making him an instant favorite in Ready to Rumble. He will send you walking to the moon. Superman. He's Superman, yet he seems to be a weak ass bitch in the games he's featured in. If you play as Superman then lose, then prepare to answer a barrage of questions from spectators and onlookers alike. The most common question though is, when did Superman become a pussy? I'm guilty of being a dwarf. This is unbelievable, making it annoying. For the love of Jor-El, he is the most powerful superhero ever, yet these guys are beating the shit out of him. Without a kryptonite. kryptonite. <laughs> and there you have it. 10 annoying fighting game characters. Let me know who else should be in the list. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out the other videos in this channel if you want to have more fun. Thanks for watching. You are awesome.